everyone. Welcome back to Via Blog. Today, I'm going to give you the state of the market based on the report I'm going to give to you for the last quarter of 2022 as compared to last quarter of 2021. Okay, so it's October 1st, 2022 to December 31st, 2022 compared to October 1st, 2021 and December 31st, 2021. Right? Okay, so how's the market during the last quarter of 2022 there were 1677 homes sold in 2022 okay with an average median price dollar per square foot of 520 dollars per square foot and how about 2021 for the same period 2021 we had 5127 homes sold and you know the median price dollar per square foot was 499 so there is a big decrease on the home sold between 2021 and 2022 for the last quarter, a drop of 67%. Okay, I mean, I have not compared to 2020, 2020, uh, 2020 and see the drop, you know, because it's seasonally adjusted. But, you know, you can see just like the media has mentioned, we have a big drop, a number of homes sold. Okay, so uh, however, you can see the price dollar per square foot has increased from 499 to 520 an increase of 4%. So with inflation you pretty much stay pretty much stable the same, right? So how about a number of listing taken during the same period of uh, the year and then uh, for 2022 on this uh, uh, fourth quarter we have 3248 home new listing and then for the same period in 2021, we have 4,513 uh, new listing. Okay, so there's a drop of 28% of uh, listing taken for the same uh, period. Okay, for the expire and uh, cancellation, you can see a, a, a spike up. Okay, so 2021, you have 540 uh, expire listing. And 2022, you have 950 expired listing. Okay, so an increase of 76%. So the market cannot meet the seller expectation, right? You know, why it expired? Very easy it is the seller want that price, high price, and the buyer want a lower price. So when the two don't meet, you have an increase of uh, unsold home. That's why you have an expired listing. Okay, so an increase of 76%. Okay, and cancellation, uh, 2021, you have 299 uh, cancellation. And 2022, you have 541 uh, cancellation. So an increase of 81%. So it's the same thing. Why the pop you can uh, uh, cancel? Well, you list it for a few months and see people go in, go out, and there's no offer. You say, hey, heck, you know, um, probably it's not a right time to to sell. I'm going to cancel it. You know, wait for a better time. Okay, so uh, you can see the expectation of the market. However, I want to share with you that for those that want to purchase at that time, I always uh, I mentioned that one on previous video. Why is a good time to buy? Okay, you can see that price has stabilized between 2021 and 2022. So if the same price, let's say 650000 don't you agree that in 6, 2021, when you have a home listed for seven fifty, dollars you're going to have to buy for $700,000. Okay, six fifty, dollars you buy for $700,000. Okay, but now in 2022, for the same home of six fifty, dollars you definitely can buy it for like a... 5% less, 620. On top of it, you can ask the seller to pay for closing costs. And from the closing costs, we cover the interest rate buy down, the two and buy down. I have a uh, spreadsheet I shared with you last time of why the buy now uh, spreadsheet, right? So those interested, I can share the spreadsheet with actual number uh, with you. So first, you can negotiate on the price. Secondly, you can ask the seller for closing costs, which previously that's nothing. You probably have to pay for selling closing costs for the escrow and title fee to get the home in 2021. Okay, you remember uh, people, your friends or the news are talking about that one. And the third thing in 2021, when you purchase a home with 10, 15 offers, you have to buy the home as is, no credit, no repair. Now, when you have a home inspection, you have some defects on the home. 
you can ask for seller credit or seller repair. They will do it for you. Okay. And of course, termite. Previously, you can ask for a termite. Right now, you can have it. Okay. And then the last thing is previously in 2021, the seller has a hard time finding a replacement home because they, as soon as they sign the contract with you, they become a, a, a buyer. They, they have a market. Or as soon as they sign the listing agreement, they have to start looking for a home. Nowadays, it's much simpler. They can find a home, they move, you don't have to let them live there for another two, three months for free because, you know, I mean, uh, in that span of time, they probably can move into another place. So it's just a regular type of escrow. You don't have to extend it. You don't have to uh, pay, you know, two months of mortgages for the seller to find another place. Okay, so that's the reason why I mentioned on my previous video that is now is the best time to buy. Okay, with the rate of buy down, the interest rate right now is hovering around five and a half percent, five point six two five two one buy down, get you the first year at three and a half to three point six two five, better than back in two thousand twenty one. So until next time, I invite you you to have comments, text me, or comments into YouTube channel if you look in our YouTube channel, okay, or send me a text, call me, or email me. I love to get your feedback and any answer you can give it to you. I love it. Okay. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.